Hey guys, today I want to show you a really useful and very easy to use plugin for Final Cut Pro and Adobe Premiere that I have found invaluable in my video editing workflow. As a freelance filmmaker, I am pretty much a one-man band, which means that I don't usually have a crew or even an assistant unless I'm working on a big budget project. That means I have to do pretty much everything by myself, which includes setting up the camera, lighting, and audio. Also, because I mostly shoot on location and I only have a few hours to spend with a client, I don't typically have a lot of control over the environment. I film in a variety of spaces that range from office buildings to warehouses. And sometimes a location can have a lot of echo or reverb that makes it difficult to capture good sounding audio for interviews and echo can be notoriously difficult to remove in post. So I've actually struggled with that for a long time until I discovered a plugin from Crumple Pop called Echo Remover. I use this plugin with Final Cut Pro 10, but it also works with Adobe Premiere. It actually blew my mind how easy it is to use Echo Remover and how effective it is. Let me show you guys how it works. So here we are in Final Cut and here's a clip from an interview I have shot for a client. Let's play it. We started with a strong technical team of Microsoft alumni, and we've grown to include content strategists, internet architects, and change managers. As you can hear, the audio sounds a bit echoey. Now, there may be a way to implement some EQ adjustments in Final Cut to reduce echo without using any external plugins, if you know what you're doing. Personally, I'm not an audio engineer and I really don't have time to mess with all those controls and all those settings. I have a deadline, so I have to get this project finished and delivered to the client. This is where Echo Remover comes in. All I have to do is select Crumple Pop and then Crumple Pop Echo Remover in my audio effects and drag and drop it onto the clip. Then I open plugin controls and click on Remove Echo. As you can see, this button turned green and we're all set. Now, if I play this clip again, we started with a strong technical team of Microsoft alumni, and we've grown to include content strategists, internet architects, and change managers. You can already hear the difference. And honestly, it's good enough that I would be happy to leave it this way. However, if you really want to fine tune it even further, you can play with these sliders to increase or decrease the strength of the effect. Once you get it to sound the way you want, you can also save this setting as a preset which you can then load and use for any other clips shot at that location to make the audio consistent. We started with a strong technical team of Microsoft alumni, and we've grown to include content strategists, internet architects, and change managers. We started with a strong technical team of Microsoft alumni, and we've grown to include content strategists, internet architects, and change managers. Super easy, right? You can get the Crumple Pop Echo Remover from FX Factory. Check out the link in the description below. I should tell you that I have no affiliation with Crumple Pop or FX Factory. They're not sponsoring this video and I'm not getting paid to make this review. I just found this plugin super useful for my workflow and hopefully you guys will find it helpful as well. I bought this plugin with my own money and I realized that $99 may seem a little bit steep if you're just starting out or if filmmaking is only a part-time hobby for you. However, if you're a professional, if you do video production for a living or any kind of video client work, then it's a no-brainer. Those $99 are gonna pay for themselves after just one client project. And it's gonna save you so much time as opposed to playing with all those different EQ settings and just trying to get it right. So what kind of editing plugins do you find useful in your workflow? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video. And if you found it helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And I'll see you in the next video.